What's going on, Rockstar? So check this out. I'm going to show you how you can make your own chatbot that you can put on any website. Not only can you use it for any website, when anytime someone clicks that link, it's going to automatically put them into the bot and put them in a sequence that's going to get your results. So first, we're going to go to automation. We're going to click start new automation. We're going to hit start from scratch. This window is, is great if you kind of don't know your way around. You can kind of uh, pick and see what other people are using Minichat for, but I'm just going to start from scratch. I think you guys always need a good foundation before you start cherry picking what other people do. So we're going to go new trigger and we're going to start on Facebook. And so we're going to go all the way down to use a referral link. So now when someone clicks this link, they're going to get this following message. And so now here you can create your own custom experience. So I'm going to do this for my own bit. I have a bot set up, but I'm just going to pretend like I'm doing this for scratch for my own business. Clicking the link. How much time do you spend a week in the DMs on Facebook or Instagram? And I have a pathway. So pretty much if they click 10 hours or five hours, I can send them two different messages. So for this stage, I'll probably put user input and I'm going to ask a question. So you understand why do you think you spend so much time answering messages and always make sure you save these as a custom field. Now, once they reply, I'm going to actually allow chat GPT to give a response with some new ones. So I'm going to go ahead and click chat GPT, go to make a request. So pretty much my prompt is telling them that they're a expert of the business. You focus on X, Y, and Z and the goal is to book appointments and to provide support. We're going to talk in a friendly tone and then we're going to use the answer. So the same answer they put in, but the last input, we're going to let them reply to this input here. We're going to title this chat GPT output. I have a video on how to do this exact task. I'm going to link it in the description. You might want to watch that if you don't know how to integrate AI with your mini chat account. So we're going to create another message after that prompt. And that's going to be chat GPT output. Click the first option. Then they go here. We ask a friendly question and we use chat GPT to give a very thoughtful response. And then we drop the response right in here. Now we can do a delay. Let's say we want to do a six second delay. Another message. And so after the delay, we send this message. Can I send a video of how we help my client and their team save a total of 30 hours of manually responding to comments, messages, and store replies? Of course, we give them the option of yes, then no. If they would, we would simply link them to think. Awesome, and then your video will go there. I would then follow up with a smart delay. Let's say we wanna give it 15 minutes. Ideally, you wanna make the video shorter, you know, make it maybe two to five minutes, and then we're gonna reach back out. Yes, no. Once we ask that follow-up question, then we wanna maybe ask again. Okay, so then we say like, have some time next week, jump on a call. Let's see if we can use some of the same tactics to tackle some of your biggest problems when it comes to DMs. Now, I don't recommend using an add button for this stage because if they're on desktop, they're, they're going to see like this button is going to show up as something like get update and then you kind of kill the flow. So definitely just leave this here and then put an actual link right here in the message. This would be an example of an entire flow, like very short to the point. If you have more of expansive script, you can put that in here. But this is how it would really flow. Now, I know what you're asking. You didn't answer any of the no's to any of these, which is correct. You have to make sure you do that. I, my rule of thumb, once they say no, you handle objections. And if you put another, let's say yes or no, I would definitely just go actions, tag, add tag, not interested. Right? But if they are, then you can simply route this where it says yes, push that back up here. Flow continues on as normal. Then you can put another maybe encouraging, like, hey, I understand, busy, 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 but just let me know when you when you finish. And here you can add a tag, add that tag, add tag here. And then you can say sent video. So this means that in your contacts, you can say that you sent the video and they may not have watched it, but you know they've gotten it. So then you can do a manual follow-up from here. Literally from one button click, they can be sent down this pathway. For demonstration purposes, I'm not going to create a whole secondary flow for this. I would, but I want to, you know, get show you guys how you can use 
a chat bot the link click to get someone to your ideal result i'm going to hit update so i'm going to take this link and i'm going to open it in the incognito window again this is going to open straight to messenger so as you can see right when i click that link it sent this message right here now i can click 10 plus hours and it's going to send right through that flow i'll tell you understand why i think you spend so much time on answering messages trying to get back to leads on time and so this is the ai response so it kicked one i probably could have did a better job refining the parameters Hey there, we totally understand the importance of getting back to leads promptly. Our team at Lead Reach is dedicated to ensuring that you not only get back to leads on time, but provide you with the necessary support along the way. Here, this next message was that secondary follow-up message. I can pick between the bottom. So yes, I would. Video goes there. And then happens with that delay. So as you can see, from a link click, you're literally going to have somebody pull up their messenger and the bot's going to flow on from there. So you can put this bot anywhere. You can put this bot in an ad, you can put it in a Facebook group, you can put it on a YouTube description. So the people who are watching this video right now, literally go to the description and you will see this exact same flow. So if you wanna know how we kind of build these in a more advanced way, definitely check out Made Chat Magic at the bottom, which the entire course is gonna go through the A to Z on how to set up your chat box for Facebook and for Instagram. Thank you again for your time, it's Rock, and I'll see you on the next one.